Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins. You just saw the video that we posted in regards to mysterious lights over the Monterey Bay. Now we're here with John and he's going to explain to us what they were. But before we get to that, thanks for joining us at Third Phase of Moon, John. Thanks for having me. So I was looking over this video last year when you posted it on your YouTube and it really baffled me and I was wondering what these mysterious objects were. Did you know right away what you were looking at when you filmed these objects? Actually, yes, I did. You know, um, my uh, my job here at Monterey County, I work for 911. So we were getting 911 calls from people in the area who had been seeing these lights. And uh, we, I knew what they were from the investigations we had done at 911. So I happened to look out my deck one night and they were flying and I grabbed my camera and, and captured a, what came out to be a pretty good video of what really looks like UFOs, you know, and I knew that it would, that they would look like UFOs, but I knew that they weren't. So I thought it'd be a great idea to put that up on YouTube and uh, try to have it up there as an example of- Misidentified you know, flying objects possibly. All right, John, right. John, can yeah. you John, could you tell us exactly what these things were? Yes. Okay, so they are radio-controlled hobby aircraft. They're basically model airplanes. Uh, they're a little larger than, you know, what you made as a kid, and they have engines on them, and they, uh, they have little uh, remote controllers, and they fly them all around. And they put LED lights on them for flying at night so they can see them. And, you know, when they're, when they're flying at night, they look really cool with the LED lights. They have different colors. And uh, it's a, there's a whole community of people who do that, and they were in the area for a while uh, last year when I filmed that. You're definitely right, John. You know, unidentified flying object means just that, UFO. And there's a lot of mis, you know, interpretations of what people see. And it's amazing that, you know, people like you are out there looking and looking out for everybody to show what these possibly could be. Do you believe in alien life from other planets? No. I, I um, you know, you can be agnostic about these things and say, well, I don't know, therefore I don't make a, I don't make a, a decision, I don't draw any conclusion. But, you know, you can say the same thing about goblins or fairies or leprechauns, you know. So, to me, you know, it's, it's to believe in alien life is just as irrational as believing in a fairy, a goblin, or a leprechaun. You know, why would you believe in alien life? There's really no good reason to, to, um, to adopt that belief. You know that the CIA are creating unmanned drones and they're going to be surveillance on our own citizens. Do you think these surveillance drones that they're building could be identified as flying up, unidentified flying objects, which they are? Well, um, to begin with, I have to question the assumption that that's happening in the first place. It may be, I have no information about that. so. Uh, it sounds a little conspiracy theory, you know, to me. Um, I know that there are such things, technology exists, and it's used in a military uh, sense. I know that um, I work for law enforcement, and I know that there are times when you do want an eye, you know, in the sky, a little bit above, uh, for tactical purposes. And there are, uh, right now, there are technologies, there are little uh, helicopter, um, you could call them drones, I suppose, uh, little helicopter-based uh, units that will fly up and go uh, over a scene, so you can you can kind of get a bird's eye view. Uh, that's a pretty simple technology. If if uh, if that's mistaken uh, sometimes for a UFO, sure, lots of things can be mistaken for UFOs. Hey John, have you been following our video about Robert Bingham, the man who summoned UFOs? Because on June 3rd, across from the Park Plaza Hotel, he will be summoning UFOs for the public again. You might want to show up yourself and you may be convinced and have a different opinion regarding UFOs. Okay, I'm aware of the video. Um, I have an open mind. I, I, uh, it, it's not so open that, that my brains are falling out, but it's open and uh, okay, we'll see what happens. You know, but the thing is, who knows? I don't know what it is. So my position is to just leave it at that. You know, I, I, I don't know and I'm okay with not knowing. Thank you very much, John, for joining us and sharing your thoughts and sharing what these objects really were. It really helps us out to identify what is a genuine UFO and what could possibly be mistaken as one. My name is Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time.